Hello, this is the Fenghai campus of the Minzhong University of China. Today we are going to visit Professor Mark Levin, who has been living in Beijing for 17 years. Masab, you know him quite well, right? Me and Professor Mark, we live in the same building. He's a good friend and I follow his moments, a lot of different activities, events. And today I'm very excited to try a new side of him, seeing him in class, seeing him in action. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it's a vote, but a vote by who? People. Okay, so uh, the United Kingdom has a parliament that makes laws. Mark. Hi, Hi everyone. This is Chloe from Beijing Radio and Television, and this is my friend Musab, who is a postgraduate at Minda. He's from Somalia. Mark, I can tell you've got a quite busy teaching schedule. Someone I was talking recently and they were talking about how uh, you don't get time to relax and I say, well, my work is relaxing. I go in, I talk to young people, I interact with them, I have something I can share with them, uh, I can teach and I steal their energy. So it's what keeps me younger and keeps me healthier. Maybe you can just introduce a little bit more about your two books. And you, you were in my office and you saw the workshop. It's called Telling China Stories. Right. You feel like you have the book, responsibilities. My, yes, exactly. Exactly. And it's through my books, through my music, through articles, through mm -hmm. conversations, through whatever means I have available to tell people a more mm -hmm. accurate presentation, representation of what China is about. Uh -huh. Just now you said many of your readers are foreigners, so how about their feedback after reading your books? Uh, it's kind of interesting. Some people, they read it and they, they say, my story is different, but there are many things that are similar. The similarity is how well they've been, how much they've been welcomed. And about the music part? Yeah. Yeah, although people, a lot of people have heard some of your songs, but still we would like to introduce a little bit about your music because okay. you said you had written over 80 songs Yeah, already. I haven't done, I know it's at least that, but I don't 80, have an accurate. And they're songs. all different kinds of songs, but they're all about China. Okay. Uh, some of them are funny, some of them are serious, some of them are political, some of them are not political. People of the Republic of China is the place I want to be. Throughout my many years here, I've always felt so free. Just now, since you mentioned the age, so yeah. now you are at the age of 76. 76. Yeah. Are you afraid of getting old? Afraid? No. Not at all? No. No That's worries? That's what happens to people. You get yeah. old. If you don't get old, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not something wrong with that. People may be worried a little bit of getting old. You know, because... I try not to worry about anything. Mark's spirit is very young. That's what we have to learn from Mark. One, don't think about age. That's just a number. Two, passion. Do what you like to do. And third, I think, having an open mind, never stop learning. So this says, this certificate of friendship awarded to Mr. Mark Howard Levine in appreciation for your enthusiastic support for China's reconstruction and your friendly cooperation from the State Administration. 